So last September of 2017, I was out to brunch with a friend of mine and we ordered drinks and got food. And the next thing I knew, I was waking up in like a hospital or an ER. And the doctors came over and were like, do you know where you are? I'm like, yeah, it looks like a hospital. I don't know which one specifically. They're like, do you know why you're here? And I'm like, oh, I assume I drank too much and kind of <laughs> blacked out or something. <laughs> My friend was there and he starts cracking up. He's like, no, you had a seizure. So I need a sec. I got emotional today, I guess. <laughs> Uh, as a kid, it was fun and hectic. Very close family. We're a very small family. There were some crazy times having three kids four years apart, but it was great. Everyone always says, were you guys close before this happened? Were you, were you tight, as tight-knit as you seen before? Yeah. I got a call when I was at the grocery store, and he, he talked to me. He was very calm and kind of said, Jeej had a seizure. I was, I was very confused, and I, I, I didn't think it was real. I mean, we show up to the hospital, and Jeej goes, well, they're still gonna do a few more tests and I'm going out to the Mets game. And we're like, no, you're not. Like, you're in the hospital. Like, he's like, I have tickets. And we're like, Jeej, like, you're here for a while, bud. Like, we gotta figure this out, so. They did an MRI to get a clearer picture and they found about a golf ball sized tumor. I was admitted to the hospital that night and Wednesday, September 6th, staying through till then, they did brain surgery. So I was diagnosed with glioblastoma stage four um, I guess what makes it different is it's kind of rare, especially in someone my age. The survival rate is pretty low. I believe the average lifespan of people diagnosed with it is about 14 or 15 months. You start researching the facts, or you start talking to doctors, and they say life expectancy or, you know, treatment options, and it's just, you kind of get to a point where it's like, I can't hear it anymore, like, that's not gonna be our family, like we're gonna defy the odds, we're gonna figure it out and we'll get through it. I started wearing the Uptune cap the day after Christmas in 2017. We do it about two or three times a week and it sends electric pulses to try and prevent cell regeneration uh, with the idea that it, it can stop cells, cancerous cells from multiplying and dividing. The first few days I was wearing it, the cable took a little getting used to. I was knocking things around in the house. But since then, it's kind of become second nature to my body. Um, my brother and I do the changes pretty easily now. The whole device has become a part of me. It assures those two boys that twice a week, they're gonna to be together. One day he goes to Colin's apartment, and one day they, they meet at Gigi's apartment. And so Colin has always said, I, I'm not his caretaker. Don't call me that. I am his brother. I love each of them. I, I would do anything for them. And that's why I'm doing what I'm doing. That's why every two days I change my brother's Aptune cap. That's why I shave his head. Because I love my brother. And I would do anything for my brother. And you know what? I know he'd do it for me. There's no one like us. And, and I mean that humbly, but I mean that ferociously. There is no one like the five Gurners. There's no one that you're going to meet that is as passionate about each other and about their cause and what they're doing as we are. After one of the one of the games of what went on, I said, hey, you can look at life as you go forward and you can say, do you wanna fly like a butterfly or fight like a tiger? And he fights it like a tiger. Okay. He goes at things like a tiger in everything he does. The kid is an absolute warrior. I mean, you, you think he's going in, he's strapped to a machine, and they're administering radiation into his brain, right? There's no moment of, of weakness. You, you can't show weakness at that point because the guy going through everything is the toughest guy in the building. Going forward, I keep wearing this Optune cap and hopefully that keeps everything at bay and continue feeling strong and being stashed strong.